My name is Rixin Lachik and I am the co-founder at Hadi Ladakh and the founder of Dorkar. I moved to Ladakh two and a half years ago with an interest in sustainable tourism practices and while constructing Dolkhar, which is an upcoming stay that aims to promote our history and tradition through art and architecture, we ended up working with a bunch of local artisans and that's how Hati was born. WMO's latest forecast states that we are 70% likely to exceed the 1.5 degree warning limit as early as 2024. And the Climate Change Assessment Report by MOES, Government of India, mentions that the Hindu Kush Himalaya experienced a temperature rise by 1.3 from 1951 to 2014, with a drastic retreat in glacier cover and a decline in snowfall. The surface temperature over the HKH is also projected to rise by 5.2 degrees by the end of the 21st century. Hadi is an initiative that provides a platform to the local artisans of Ladakh to help them find value in their skills and in turn preserve them. We have a network of about 50 such artisans across seven villages who mostly are the last generation of their kind and hence these traditional art practices are on the verge of going extinct. Have been the biggest causes of such a situation and we hope to tackle them by providing the artisans economically stable opportunities in their villages through sustainable tourism. Most of these artisans work as daily wage labourers during the day and still manage to practice their skills in the evenings. The significant increase in imported machine-made cheaper goods have replaced handmade traditional products for local consumption and it is close to impossible for these artisans to compete with that market. One of the biggest challenges we face while working with these artisans is their lack of understanding the true value of their products and skills. Migrating to lay down for better income opportunities also poses a great threat of the formation of ghost villages in the future along with abandoning of agricultural land and livestock. Apart from selling their products, at Hati we also conduct workshops with tourists, locals and students to help traditional practices stay alive. And although we're very uh, we're also in a very nascent stage. The artisans have definitely seen an impact on their livelihood and have understood the possibility of using their skills to improve it. While we know climate change is real, we don't know what it can mean for us. But the mountains and its people are definitely the most vulnerable. And there is an urgent need for us to come together to make whatever little difference we can to tackle it.